now diagnostic analytics will build on the descriptive analytics uh, because it tells you the reasons why something happened so from the descriptive analytics you know what happened from the diagnostic analytics you would know the reason why it happened so the kind of insights uh, that you will uh, get from diagnostic analytics will be you know why uh, did a certain percentage of learners drop out uh, were the reasons behind you know what were the reasons behind the high completion rate why did learners prefer mobile devices so diagnostic analytics will answer all these questions for you now it makes use of techniques such as drill down data discovery data mining correlations uh, and using these techniques it you know gives you the answer so probably the you know the lms uh, or the report uh, will rather show you that you know why did five percent learners drop out probably because the course content uh, you know wasn't up to the level of content uh, that the learner should have got or let's say the courses were very lengthy and they couldn't finish it on time uh, they were finding it really hard uh, to manage it in the workflow so you know these sort of answers or reasons is something which you will find from diagnostic analytics now to be able to gather such sort of data of course your lms is the primary source um, however you would need an analytics tool here because you know um, it needs to look into the pay past data of preferences it needs to look into the performance uh, data of your learners so of course you will need an lms on top of that you will have to tie it up either with a plugin uh, which can be, you know, jammed up with your LMS or else um, you can even go with a standalone analytics tool to do the analysis for you.